Today, uh, we're very honored to have a true giant in the orthopedic community attend this meeting. This world-renowned orthopedic surgeon is in our midst, along with his wife, Betty Jo, and daughter, Anna. I welcome Howard Haldeman Steele, MD of Philadelphia. I was faced with the dilemma of how to truly convey this extra his extraordinary contributions and activities in just 10 minutes. As an orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Steele is widely acclaimed for his innovations and skill, but that alone does not capture the essence of his achievements, triumphs, leadership, and sheer personality, not to mention his notorious and lauded sense of humor. By necessity, this tributes just some of the highlights. I'm confident you'll be fascinated by this man of wit and grace who collected trains, dusted mummies, grew orchids, flew his own plane, and I actually heard a rumor performed a tracheostomy on his pet peacock to keep it quiet. <laughs> Dr. Steele was born in Philadelphia. I won't give the date. Two weeks later, his parents moved to Atlantic City, where his father developed a confectionery business on the boardwalk. Steele's Fudge. For over 90 years, it's been owned by members of the Steele family. Unfortunately, at the age of seven, Howard and his younger brother, Paul, were orphaned. Little orphan Howie was raised by the Guarantee Bank and Trust Company and lived in reformatories, I mean, uh, boarding schools after that. In spite of this, he's always been driven to move forward, showing imagination, a flair for the personal, and a brilliant intelligence. And just in case you were wondering, his early love of sports cars remains intact. After he graduated from high school, he went on to graduate from Colgate University, where he roomed with a fairly, fairly famous gentleman, Andy Rooney. Howard majored in chemistry, and just as he would go on to do his entire life, he was involved in numerous extracurricular activities, sports, the arts, and student government, and won several accolades. In 1951, he received his Master of Science and completed his residency from Temple University. It was an auspicious beginning, and it just gets better. Let's take a look, a giant leap forward in time. Dr. Steele has made significant contributions to orthopedic knowledge, and his many creative solutions are now part of the orthopedic lexicon. Following are some of the key achievements that push the forefront of medical knowledge. He took a non-traditional approach to solving this debilitated deformed of the lumbar spine after three attempts at lumbar peritoneal shunts. The patient's in a cast with gravity correction curve. Whether you call this a flying nun or Mary Poppins, no one can dispute its success at two years follow-up. He also created the triple osteotomy of the innominate bone when other iliac osteotomies were, osteotomies were considered ineffective. He devised a remarkable solution for removing malignant pelvic tumors while leaving the leg intact via the removal of the hemipelvis. And he invented a number of other procedures. His PhD research on the anatomical and mechanical considerations of traumatic interruption of the atlantoaxial articulations led to Steele's rule of thirds. In the 1950s, he was a leader in bringing physicians, nurses, and hospitals back to the basics of preventing hospital-acquired infections through impeccable aseptic surgical technique. His work helped to eradicate the staph infection problem and led to the establishment of universal hospital infection committees. Beard masks, hair covers, and changing shoes for the OR were due to his efforts. In 1958, the American Medical Association awarded him the Billings Gold Medal for his work on this issue. In 1966, he was appointed Chief Surgeon at Shrines and Professor of Orthopedics at Temple University Medical Center. An award-winning educator, he's known for the inventive teaching style he used to teach orthopedics to hundreds of young women and men. In 1970, he founded the Eastern Orthopedic Association. Dr. Steele served as its first and second presidents and as its managing director from 1971 to 1976. 
Dr. Steele was also a member of the founding group of the Pediatric Orthopedic Asso uh, Society, which later became POSNA. In 1980, as chief surgeon at Shriners Hospital, he established the first spinal cord injury center designed specifically for children. The program's success led to the opening of additional specialty centers at other Shriners hospitals across the country. The groundbreaking research he did there has educated the medical community about the unique needs of children with spinal cord injuries, which has led to innovative treatment techniques for both children and adults. From 1977 to 1978, Dr. Steele served as vice president of the American Orthopedic Association. In late 1986, artist Will Burnett was commissioned to paint a portrait of Dr. Steele, which is now in the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts collection. Howard himself is an award-winning artist. He studied art at Philadelphia's Barnes Foundation and won the gold medal at the American Physician Art Association in 1957. In 1963, the American Association of Physician Artists awarded him a silver medal. A lifelong daredevil and athlete, he lettered in hockey, football, and track at Colgate. He's a horseman, fisherman, tennis player, polo player, volleyball player, baseball player, and a mountaineer. Then there are the S sports, skiing, sailing, squash, and skating. He and Betty Jo are globetrotters. Dr. Steele has had 71 visiting professorships across the globe, where he has had a tremendous reputation. In his spare time, Dr. Steele is also a musician. He's a restorer and enjoyer of player pianos and a longtime member of the EOA Jazz Band. Renowned for his skill on the gut bucket that he built himself. An enophile, he's a world authority on wine of the Rhine Valley and Madeira. His Madeira parties were a very popular part of many medical meetings. We could have used him at the executive committee meeting today, actually. He has a great admiration for languages. He's fluent in the Romance languages, has read Latin for sheer enjoyment, speaks German like a native, and has picked up some Russian. Many have lauded for him for his contributions, Posna and the American Academy of Pediatrics among them. These are just some of his many honors. He's a philanthropist. In 1981, a group of grateful adult patients who had undergone his hemipelvectomy procedure founded the Howard H. Steele Orthopedic Foundation. Under his guidance, the foundation funds lectureships for eight national and international orthopedic organizations, including the American Orthopedic Association. Dr. Steele's only stipulation is that the topic be related to any subject except for orthopedics or medicine. Later in this program, we will have such a speaker courtesy of his foundation. He is an undoubted family man, a father of eight. He loves children and knows how to make them happy. He's earned a reputation as a Santa Claus extraordinaire by pinning missives from Santa Claus on myriad topics and circumstances, hanging them on trees like poems in the Forest of Arden. His partner in all of this is Betty Jo. Bearing the last name of Steele, it's difficult to avoid the comparison to that other legendary Man of Steel, so we won't. Dr. Steele has led a stainless steel superhero life. He's forged an exalted and extraordinary life full of curious surprises, and I haven't even mentioned his involvement with the Burpee Seed Company in helping bring Radicchio from Europe to the United States. We've also got the proof that hanging out with Howard is a party. You will have the opportunity to mix and mingle with him and each other at the reception following the opening ceremony. We're nearing the end of this tribute, but I'd like to conclude with this thought. His zest for life and learning is infectious and inspiring. He believes that true creativity comes from seeing old things from new angles, and that fresh perspectives are born out of pure enjoyment, intellectual curiosity, humility, and above all, humor. Whether it's an innovative surgical procedure or a breakthrough diagnosis, the journey of discovery is the same. I would ask us all to rise and give Dr. Howard Steele applause for a pioneer, visionary, and true leader.